Hello and welcome to another Star Trek Armada 2 Fleet Ops recording. My name is Zap, and with me today are again Beki and Nukov. Hello. We are playing Hello. on Duel 2. And will you please introduce the players? Who is on the top? Beki? On the top? No. Becky? On the top, this time, we have Old Time Pro in purple, playing as Klingons. And on the bottom, we have Mighty Master as Peel Color, playing as the Romulans. Indeed. So, as opposed to the last game, OTP is now not Borg, but his opponent's race, the Klingons, which he destroyed in the last game. And interestingly enough, he's also caught up after his four starting miners, a Kadush class, a support vessel. Yeah, I've seen a few people do this. It's just to get like an extra combat chip out as quick as you can, trying to build up as much force uh, ASAP. Indeed, but I think this should very be an much interesting... in line with what uh, he does. Always yeah. get ships out as fast as possible. I think this should be an interesting match, though, because it's going to be a battle of intelligence, both being cloakers and having cloaking scouts. I think the one with the most intelligence, not how clever they are, but on which they can see where they know fleet positions to be, how many scouts they spam, you know, quite frankly, is the person who's going to have the upper hand. Indeed, with cloaker versus cloaker games, especially in 1v1, it's mostly a game of psychology, predicting where your enemy is, and raiding, raiding, raiding. Seeing yeah. just two ends now and a Bird of Prey extension, might see Burel's, they fare well against... Oh no, he's also building a central facility. Burels fare very well against Weans actually since they counter them straight up. And they have that nice and nasty cloak detection feature to them. Indeed. In fact, if all time gets a few of them out, he could do a nice uh, split of his fleet. He could attack with some ships, while at the same time uh, keeping some ships where he thinks uh, Mighty Master will attack, and then when Mighty Master attacks, he can counterattack with the Burrells, and they will not be able to escape because, as you said, the uh, anti cloaking mechanism that the Burrells have. Mighty Master won't really be able to escape and will get killed right off the bat. While Old Time will also be able to attack economically if he gets enough ships out to uh, split his fleet early. You see, this time, old time is expanding right away, as is Mighty Master. Mighty Master is putting a second star yard up immediately, which is not usually a move you do with Romulans, as I think. Maybe he's going to try and spam those Reans out, since the it's Reans possible. are not as cheap, uh, as expensive. Yes, and when later we upgraded to Beam Reans, they are quite powerful. Oh, and well, another reason well to be early economy, though. Yeah, it'll destroy his economy. The Star Yard being extremely expensive, ne nearly a thousand dilithium in itself. It's a lot of money. But uh, I think he built it probably to help defend against raiding. Perhaps he can get some of the uh, miners into the Star Yard to repair before they die, but that is really dependent. Romulus miners being the weakest in the game and very slow. Uh, I think uh, it won't make much of a difference. Or at least so is my experience. OTP's first Burel is just crossing the map. Another thing that you might want to take note of is... Oh! Do you see that? At Mighty Master's base, he's deconstructing his first builder. And the second one is just building a mining colony at his expansion. He does not have face plates to keep those Reans alive. If that Burel strikes, it may get kills. Yeah. I think he might be deconstructing the constructor just for a little bit of extra resources, but well, it I so. think it's quite the waste, at least in my opinion. Because now he's slowed down on getting the research institute and not getting faceplates, it's really going to set him back. You know, the few trickle of resources he'll get from that constructor, I think, is going to hurt him more than it's going to help him. Yeah, it wasn't even enough to start construction at the second yard right away. That only just started right now. Yeah. True. I think that's what happened to Mighty Master's Constructor in the first game when I was like, where did it go? I never <laughs> saw it destroyed. He must have decommissioned it. 
Yeah, we Why saw that how easily those thing. constructors die. Yeah. Uh. All time sending two constructors to his mansion. Hmm. It's also an interesting move. If both constructors are at one place, they usually die or faster. Oh, he's moving them out, maybe to the middle. No. We will see. Maybe he's trying to get them there to defend after all those two disruptors can punch all the way out. Yeah, all time's gonna raid now on the Titanium yes. of the Romulan. Also, he has decloaked with giving an attack order and not clicking the decloak button. That cost him those four seconds it took to decloak until the ships actually attack. Yeah. I think he'll get the constructor. Not constructor, sorry, minor. Mm, yes, he did. A little bit of Just fire, but. Yeah, he'll get one. Get one. And Mighty Master has a decloaking scout as well, so Old Time will have to be very careful about his movement. Indeed. Yeah. Mighty Master's also not taking this opportunity to instead raid his opponent. Yeah. This is something Old Time I think is doing purposely. He, he does, as I said in the previous game, he likes to control the movement of his enemy. You know, and he has to do this even more so when the enemy is a cloaker. He will keep on attacking. Keep the enemy on the defensive, because Sun Tzu says sometimes the best defense is a good offense. So by keeping Mighty Master on the defensive, it won't give him time to raid, and Old Time um, will be making sure that Mighty Master is taking the economic damage and not himself. Yes, indeed. It looks like he might know where he is. Oh, he just got oh, caught. Yes. Ah, uh, it looks like he's going to snipe he's that, lose that barrel. Oh, it's got no shields either. That goes. From the previous battle. Looks like the other one will get away though. I think old time's gonna split some of his ships like with the barrel, try and keep as many alive as possible. Oh, OTP did not get the kill on the Rien there. Without faceplates it was quite vulnerable, but he retreated wisely though because he was already taking damage. And he will continue to take damage because those runes yeah. have a long range. And the pink scout will keep. Now, all time is raiding the expansion while Mighty Master ships are caught up in a chase. Yes, similar to what you did last game. Which is very smart. Especially if Mighty Master does not react fast enough and send the ships to repair. Also, having that Kardush <laughs> paid off as it was tough enough to keep the Rians chasing it for quite some time while he did damage at the expansion. Indeed, he killed one miner. Did not lose his own ships. He only lost one Borel in that whole engagement, while Mighty Master lost... That he lost at least a miner. Oh, and Old Time Scout just escapes getting pinged. By Mighty Master's scout, very close. Old Time's gonna have to keep an eye on his scout. Oh, indeed. Now, Mighty Master is getting the research institute. To finally give those we end some staying power. I think all time's falling a bit behind, economy-wise. He should be trying to possibly get out two more miners to send to his expansion. At least just with one miner? Yeah, at least one more. Yes. His um, constructors are just sitting there. Despite they probably can get to the field yard in time, it's still a bit risky. Well, the ship numbers are low, they might be worthy there, but as soon as he gets like one or two more reens, it will probably be more of a liability. Oh, he is building a second art expansion there, more miners are coming in. OTP really likes that early aggression, so that's probably why he didn't send more miners right away. Yeah, as I said, mm. he was trying to keep the pressure up. Now, if you notice, he's going to attack at the expansion of Mighty Master, and he's sending ships down to his Tritanium Moon and his main base. Looks like he's splitting his ships up, in the, actually. Mighty Master, yes. A hard thing to do. Mighty really. Master's expecting it this time, though. 
Yeah. As you mm -hmm. see, he did the same thing and split his if force. If I was old time, yeah, a bit of a too late then, but I probably would have gone after the scout, try and kill it off, before the rest of the fleet can arrive. Yes, OTP is now attacking on the bottom, and he will find four cloaked Rians there. They might be able to kill one of the Birels. I or think they will. Yeah, they'll probably but get the Birel. Yes, yeah, this is dead go. already. And he did not get a minor kill, so that was not a good engagement for OTP. But he does give them a slip on the north flank, and now is his chance to kill the cloaking scout. Well, the cloaking scout, should I say. I need. Mm, no, yes. it's already been Too sent late. to the oh. yard. Mm. He got pinged, that's why he. Uh, Might get that minor kill though. Might get it. Mighty Master has also sent his ships back, which he sent to attack his main titanium. The minor goes down, yes. Again, OTP does this to keep him on the defense, which works out well for him right now. Unfortunately, he's gonna lose that ranked up Virel. I think he's gonna get hit by the other ones. Well, splitting him with ships, trying to save as many as he can at once. Oh. Uh, oh, they even both escape, but the the Burrell is gonna run out of crew eventually. Mm, yes, I think the best thing he could do now is hide it on this white side pocket with the wheel of the green nebula. Yeah, but it's too late for that now. Yeah. The... Mm, yeah. Now, if Mighty must notice that, that's effectively a free scout or combat ship, depending on how he wants to use it. But all time is raiding the Tritanium. And kill the miner. Oh, down there, indeed. I was already watching OTP's Tritanium. We'll see if he'll get a miner kill there, as Klingon miners are much, much tougher, can pop, and there's a yard right next to that. I think this is going to be troublesome yeah, a for lot of ships uh, old time out. now, at Ooh. old time's expansion. Lots of reends. Old time only has a few ships. Yes, he's seen that pink That's scout, that though. Pink scout. But with all as we end there, those three ships yeah. are going to have a bad time. We also are going to die. Mm. Effectively two shot that Vivrel. Oh, wasting a bunch of firepower there on the ship in the yard. And they're going after the combat ships, not the miners right away. Yeah, maybe he thinks he can get the kills. Obviously combat ships are... Uh, Better to kill than just miners since they're more expensive. More time wasting, no time raiding the base still of Mighty Master. Try, trying to make him feel as much pain as he's feeling. The pink scout barely gets out with his life. Yes, it does not look like he is seeing his titanium. He's not sending the miner back. He's using the face plates now, triggering them as they are needed. Although with a ship with this low health, he might try to get it out anyway. Oh, oh will the cabbage? Nope, mm. it does not make it. Oh, that was a close one. Yep. Or did he call it? And there's a good game already. So there we have it. One more game to decide who wins this. Mini, 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 mini tournament. Indeed. Let's see you for the next one.